Dr. Tarana. I'm here to introduce you a drug called beta solo. These are the 2D and 3D structures of beta solo. The name of beta solo is beta solo hydrogen chloride. For the IOPAC name is 1,4,2,3,4,5,3,4,5,3,4,5,3,4,5,3,4,5,3,4,5,3,4,5,3,4,5,3,4,5,3,4,5,3,4,5,3,4,5,3,4,5,3,4,5,3,4,5,3,4,
First, we need to condense 2,4-hydroxyphenyl ethanol with benzyl halide in the presence of base, base transfer catalyst, and organic solvent to get 2,4-benzyloxyphenyl ethanol. This is the structure. The base can be an alkali metal, such as carbonates of sodium or potassium, or alkali metal hydroxides, such as hydroxides of sodium or potassium. As for the organic solvent, it is usually an aliphatic ketone such as acetone. Next, again, we condense 2,4-benzyloxyphenyl ethanol with an allyl halide. This is the allyl halide in the presence of base and an organic solvent to get 1, 2, alloxy ethyl for benzyloxy benzene. The organic solvent are usually ethereal solvents such as tetrahydrofuran or polar solvents such as dimethyl sulfoside, which is also known as DMSO. The next step is cyclopropanation of 1, 2, allylo ethyl for benzyloxy benzene. There are two methods. First, we can use Simon Smith reaction, which is also known as zinc copper couple reaction. Another method is Furukawa modification of Simon Smith reaction, which involves the exchange of halogen zinc using diethyl zinc. The product is 1 benzyloxy 4 2 cyclopropyl methoxy ethyl benzene. So, this is the structure. Four steps for this invention process. The fourth step are deprotecting. Deprotecting of one benzyloxy 4,2-cyclopropyl methoxy ethyl will form 4,2-cyclopropyl methoxy ethyl by the hydrogenation process. The diagram below shows the process, the pathway of this hydrogenation process. Next step is oxygen alkylation. Oxygen alkylation of 4,2-cyclopropyl methoxy ethyl will form by treating with R-epichlorohydrin in the presence of alkali. This is to obtain the mixture of compounds of the formula 10 plus 11. This 10 plus 11 mixture of compounds will combine with isopropylamine to give S-betaxolol of the formula. This diagram shows the synthesis of betaxolol. So we can understand that 10 plus 11 will form the third formula of the structure. Here are some extra info that we can use to understand more about this invention process. As an example, step 1, step 2, step 3 and step 4 and also step 5. 
Here are some references that can be used to find more information about Bitaxolol. So, if we need any problems, we face any problems in find any information about this drug, so we can use these references as an uh, guidance for us to find the information. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to talk about the chemical reaction of betazolol. Betazolol selectively block catecholamine stimulation of beta-1 adrenergic receptors in the heart and also vascular smooth muscle. This results in a reduction of heart rate, cardiac output, systole and diastole blood pressure, and possibly reflex orthostatic hypotension. Betazolol can also competitively block beta-2 adrenergic responses in the bronchial and vascular smooth muscle, which causing bronchospasm. For betazolol hydrochloride ophthalmic solution, when instilled in the eyes, has the action of reducing elevated as well as normal intraocular pressure, whether or not accompanied by glaucoma. Ophthalmic betazolol has minimal effect on pulmonary and also cardiovascular parameter. Thank <music> you.